Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I created this makeup look. This is my go-to glam makeup look that I will wear if I'm going out, if I'm going to do a dance competition, if I just want to look really nice. This is one of my favourite makeup looks ever to create and I've had many, many, many requests to do it. I've already filmed this once and edited it for five hours and then I deleted all the footage and I hadn't saved the edited video, so... Well done, Phoebe. But I'm here with it again, and I just love this makeup look. I feel like it's so this kind of year. As you can see, I've gone more bronzy on my eyes because I suit more warm toned eyeshadows. But if you want to see a cool tone look or a pop of colour, then just comment down below and let me know because I would be so happy to do one of those. If you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed then please do, it would actually mean the world to me. There's a subscribe button either up here or down here, I'm not too sure. Um, but it comes through my emails, who subscribes and I love seeing where you're all from and what age you are, who you are etc etc. I will always like stalk your YouTube channel. Guilty. On that note I feel like we need to start. So to begin with I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as a primer. This is fabulous and keeps my makeup on all night. Time for eyes. I'm going to be using the Colour Tattoo from Maybelline in my favourite shade on and on bronze. I'm just packing it on with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. As it's a cream eyeshadow and look at that pretty colour. Now I'm going to be using the Technic Fashionista palette, which I got for 3 dollars in TK Maxx, would you believe it? I'm going to be using this brush from Amazon and just dipping it in the warm toned brown to put in my crease just to start blending out the cream eyeshadow. This really warms up the look and doesn't give any harsh lines to begin with anyway. Then I'm going to be taking the base shadow brush from Real Techniques and just using a cool toned brown to put in my crease and a black to go in my outer corner just to start defining my eye and to make it more glam. You'll see in a little while. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, you need to get your hands on one of these palettes if you can. Incredible. Then I'm going to be using the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques and dipping it in this beautiful sparkly gold and packing that onto my lid to create more sparkles. I'm now taking my Collection Fast Stroke Liner in black and also some makeup wipes from Boots. These are just cleansing ones. They're actually really, really good and I'm just wiping up towards my eyebrow to create that diagonal line for my winged liner. This makes it a lot more cleaner and easier to do. I'm also just wiping off the top as sometimes when you blend you go a bit too far up your eyebrow. That's currently happened. So I'm just re-blending that out. First world problems. This looks a lot neater compared to what I did earlier. Now I'm just going to create my wing. You go girl. Let's go. That face of concentration. I'm praying for myself that this wing actually goes right and that the other one becomes equal. Oh, it's still going. Yes. After both wings are done, I'm just going back in with the brush that had the brown on and just blending it out once again. Now I'm using the Maybelline Lush Sensational, my go-to mascara. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with a Primark eyelash curler. Just does the job. For one pound you can't go wrong. 
I never ever ever put mascara on without curling my eyelashes. It's a must. I never put lashes on, so I have to make sure that my mascara is looking bomb before I can carry on. I have to get those coats on. Now onto face. So I'm gonna be using two foundations as I actually fake tanned, but I didn't fake tan my face, would you believe it? So I'm just gonna be using the Rimmel Breathable Foundation in the shade Ivory, I think it is and the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation in a much darker shade. I think it's in the shade Sand or something like that. I didn't want to have a complete white face and then a tanned body, so I had to mix them both together. I'm just using my Real Techniques trusty buffing brush to buff that all out. Now on camera it looks a lot more orange than it was in real life and I'm a bit stressed about this situation but if you could see my body you'd see that we actually matched. It wasn't just an orange face. Then I'm going to be using my trusty Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm using the colour Fair under my eyes just to brighten myself up and then the colour Cool Medium number 2 just to put over any spots and blemishes. As you can see, I was having a breakout. I'm just using the Real Techniques Concealer Brush, which is my newfound love. And I'm just buffing these out, as you do. As you can see, now that my eyes are done, they're looking a lot better than they did before I wiped off the excess above my eyebrow below my eyebrow I mean oh I'm getting confused so now I'm using my collection sheer loose powder and my Real Techniques dual fibre brush and I'm just powdering myself up as I cannot be getting sweaty tonight no way Just powdering literally everywhere. Gotta modify that face. Now I'm just gonna be using my MUA translucent powder and I'm gonna be baking. I love baking. I have become rather obsessed with it, but it keeps my makeup on all day. So I'm just gonna be putting it on the high points of my face and the, fa the bits of my face that I need to highlight. So, under my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead and on my chin. Then I'm going to leave this wool to bake. I'm apologising right now, I should have blended more into my hairline. Sorry! Now I'm taking this massive revolution palette, oh my god with the Royal Techniques blush brush and I'm just bronzing up my face to give it a bit more dimension otherwise I'm going to look like a pancake when you can't find something <laughs> going back in with my dual fibre brush I'm now just going to brush off the excess bake look at the difference now I'm going to take my Freedom Pro, Pro Artist palette and this is a contour and highlight palette and I'm just going to be taking the two darkest shades to contour my face. You contour those cheekbones. just got to really blend it out and then also I'm not really contouring my nose I just like bronzing up a bit more it makes me look a bit more tanned I like my nose the way it is now I'm taking my little freedom brush that came in the set and just gonna use the banana powder in it just to put everywhere where I baked as I feel like sometimes if I leave it with the white bake it is too much of a contrast 
So just putting yellow over the top really does actually make that difference. Well, I see it anyway. Now taking my B fan brush from Superdrug and my MUA highlighting cashmere and I'm just going to be highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, around my temples and on my cupid's bow. I'm really sad because you can't actually see my highlighter as much as I'd like to on here. It was really popping I promise. MUA highlighters slay life. They are incredible. I'm now just taking my Set and Reflect from MUA and it's the gold one, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just taking the highlight in it and just going over my cheekbones again to get just that bit more of a pop. I could do without it but I love them both together so I always mix them. I'm taking this pointed brush from the Amazon set and just highlighting my brow bone. I feel like this makes all the difference. Look at that. Yes. Now I'm taking this Primark brow brush I'm just brushing my brows through and then I'm going to use my MUA Pro Brow Kit in dark with my Real Techniques brow brush. If you'd like a brow tutorial then please comment below and I'll do an in-depth one. Just outlining my brow first and then I will go back in and not colour it in but just make sure that I've got no sparse areas onto the second brow my eyebrows look really really uneven in this video and I'm not too sure why but we're just gonna roll with it and pretend that that never happened I'm then taking this collection color lash clear mascara and it's disgusting in color where I've been putting it on my eyebrows And then finally, I'm going to use my Kate Moss Rimmel lipstick in the shade 01. It's a beautiful red. So nice. And I'm just going to put it on my little lippies. As you can see, I don't use lip liners. I don't really see the point in lip liners. My lips suit more of just putting the lipstick straight on. Last little touches and there we have it, the final look. So here is the finished makeup look, I hope you really enjoyed that. If you did then make sure to give it a massive thumbs up so that you can let me know and also comment down below if you want to see any other makeup looks like I said at the beginning or if you just have more requests for different videos. I love, love, love it when you request things because it actually makes me produce content that you want to watch instead of me just doing it because I want to. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!